This tutorial demonstrates how to merge Revit and ETABS models for better project coordination. We're going to start by looking at our two source files. We would have saved the ETABS file as an E2K, and we would have used the Visicon plugin to save our Revit model as a Visicon VXF file. The next step is we would have opened a blank Visicon project file. We can then select these two source files, drag them into our empty Visicon project. We can now see that the two models are opened up in this, in this model. Under the project browser, the third icon over, we can see each of the models is listed. The one that I'm selecting now is the ETABS model. What you see on top, these are additional loads that you see. So for this exercise, we're going to go to visibility, turn off the loads. So this way we're looking at the raw ETABS geometry against the raw Revit geometry, which we're here highlighting on the left. And our purpose is to determine how close our two modeling assumptions are. The next step we're going to go through is an alignment of the two models. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn around here and let's say our objective is to move the ETABS model to align with the Revit model. So we're going to go under models and alignment. Each model in your Visicon project has its own tab. We're going to pull down the ETABS one and we have the option to align it. We can do manual alignment by coordinates by object or by points. We're going to choose the by objects. We're going to grab this column here, which is just the upper column, and we're going to align it with this Revit column. Now we see this column is much longer. The ETABS column was just modeled, you know, level by level. So we see there's a vertical offset, but that's okay. Our objective in this first alignment step is just to make sure we can get them aligned in the um, horizontal space. So we'll say accept. We now look at this corner of the model a little closer. We can see that our corner columns are perfectly aligned. If we grab the ETABS model, we see the top of the ETABS level is here. The top of the Revit model is up here. So we want to do one more transformation, which is align the top of this slab with the top of that slab. We go again to ETABS, alignment. This time we're going to do by points. We're going to arbitrarily select any point on the ETABS slab, pick any point on the corresponding Revit slab. Visicon moves the two on top of each other. We're going to zero out any X and Y offset. So here we have a net vertical offset of 19.33 feet and we say accept. We can now see if we zoom out that the two models have now been nicely aligned using the left column as our insertion and alignment point. You know, you can choose to something different. So now we have two different ways to verify the alignment. I would say in this case, we have clash check, we have Boolean difference operations, but this tutorial is really focused on just looking at the visual inspection capabilities, which are the easiest and most powerful to just be able to jump in and, and validate your model. We'll start by selecting a surface, right click, add a clip plane. All I want to demonstrate is that you can then zoom in and very quickly see where your two different models are aligning and when they're not. So this is looking at it from an elevation perspective. We're going to turn off that clip plane and I'm going to show you how we can use the same clip plane idea. Again, clicking on the top surface, right click, add clip plane. This time we're going to go up and down in the model. And so here what we can do is, for example, at this level, we can see that we have very nice conformity between our columns. So I would just scan the level and I would see that there's no change that needs to be made. Should a change need to be made, so for example, I am not happy with this discrepancy, you could either just take a screenshot or go under the views and markup and then use Visicon's markup capabilities to come in and say this is move ETABS column by six inches. Right, so this is how you can come in and provide a markup. In conclusion, you can use Visicon to very quickly come in and merge Revit and ETABS models as well as ADAPT models to run a very quick and efficient coordination exercise and identify where your ETABS or Revit models need to be adjusted. So here we're going to go back to our default view and close out of this model again. So this is our merged model. Thank you for watching our video.
contact sales at visicon.com or sales at adaptsoft.com to request your free intro version. The merge capabilities that I just showed you right now do require a professional license.